about dancing. That feeling of being completely free. It was a cultural and musical phenomenon that pulsed through the nation's dance clubs. But not everyone was a fan. One wild night at a Chicago ballpark turned into one of the strangest early flashpoints in the culture wars. A new documentary coming to PBS explores the rise of disco and the backlash that tried to destroy it. The war on disco also shows how disco demolition night at Comiskey played a role. Uh, joining us now is producer Lisa Kihana Wolfinger. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. Uh, now I remember this. I was too young to be in disco clubs or anything when disco was around. So I, I guess I never really thought about where did disco suddenly come from? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, look, it has it has its roots in um, black music, brown music, and uh, the, certainly the gay uh, dance club scene in New York. It was very New York based initially, uh, and it just it kind of grew and grew. And then 1977, you've got Saturday Night Fever, and all of a sudden it explodes. It's all across the country. It's everywhere. You know, you turn on the radio, that's all you hear is disco. And there was some blowback with, uh, you know, obviously this is very famous uh, demolition, uh, disco demolition that happened here at Comiskey Park with Steve Dahl. Uh, talk about what it was about that event that really significantly turned the tide on disco. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, look, at the by the late... 70s disco has really saturated the market. It really is everywhere. And so there's a fatigue that sets in. And uh, that you've got Steve Dahl, uh, who's this young, you know, DJ on the loop, very, very rock and roll. And he, his whole shtick is disco, disco sucks. You know, he didn't like disco. A lot of people didn't like disco, you know? I mean, was it was it just aesthetic? Probably, for the most part. Um, and so he gets together with, uh, with Mike Vec over at Comiskey Park. The White Sox aren't doing so well. So, so they come up with this promotional scheme and, uh, you know, they like to do these theme nights and it got completely out of hand. You know, you got cheap booze, you got right. explosives, got out of hand. And I think, uh, you know, folks in the music industry, the radio industry around the country saw that as a sign that maybe the tide was turning against disco. And so certainly when we talked to Felipe Rose, you know, who was the, the Indian and the, the village people, uh, Linda Clifford, uh, both disco artists, they said to them, it felt like disco, the tide turned against disco overnight after after that event well, at Comedy yeah, Park. Yeah, but you mentioned for Fatigue, and maybe you could say, well, people just they, they don't care for that kind of music. But do you think maybe at a subconscious level there was some some racism or homophobia ingrained in, in some of that backlash? It's that's a tough question. I mean, and, and that's why I encourage people to watch the film, because we tried very hard to get all the different facets of this story. It seems like a simple story, but it's not. There are many different points of view. Uh, you've got we interviewed um, a, a lovely gentleman who grew up in Bridgeport and went to the event, even though his dad told him not to go. And for him, it wasn't racist or homophobic, but boy, the optics, when you look at all these, you know, these young white kids running across the field, blowing up records saying disco sucks, and you understand that disco has, it has its roots in black and brown music and gay dance clubs, it... Um, it can it can feel racist and homophobic certainly for for the for the for the uh, for the individual watching it who is maybe coming at it from a different point of view. So we as filmmakers can't make those judgments. It's really up to the viewers to watch it and listen to all these different points of view and make up their own minds. All right, the war on disco premieres October thirtieth on PBS. For more information, check out the information on your screen. Lisa, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.